Rampage, 1.129 million viewers, 692,000 in 18 to 49. Yeah, it will undoubtedly be, I'll have the numbers tomorrow, but it'll undoubtedly be the youngest skewing sports audience of the week and probably pretty high on a lot of other charts as well. Um, as far as sports on cable, I mean, I'm I'm sure there's some NFL games that that beat it. I know the the the, the Friday night NFL game beat it because they were second in in, in uh, they were second for the night. But it's probably going to be except for the NFL um, and Raw. You know, it's going to be probably I I would presume it'll be the highest sports event of the week and one of the highest cable ratings of the week. So, you know, I mean the, the you know it was a phenomenal number. You know, Chicago did incredible numbers. Philadelphia did incredible numbers. Um, you know, but they were up everywhere and, you know, I mean, it's, it's great. It's a, it's, it's great. It's probably, um, better than in 18 to 49, I would say it's better than expected. Although I did see some of those numbers the other day, you know, the, from the markets and it, you know, it, it, um, in the top 10 markets, it averaged a 0.65. So, um, you know, but that was skewed by Chicago. So, I mean, you know, yeah, it, it looked like it was going to do. You know, point four five, point five, somewhere in that range. So, so yeah, it was. Uh, it's it's really good. I think that uh, Wednesday's dynamite should do a huge number, but you know, now the question is the legs, and we don't know. You know, um, there's a million factors involved. I mean, the the presentation on Friday, obviously, is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in wrestling, and. Um, you know, does it how at what level does it sustain if 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 he can, uh, you know, pick up where where they're selling more tickets, where they're where where the rating, the base rating that they do every week is higher because he's on the show, uh, which really there's very few people in wrestling who pulled that off, but but nobody in wrestling has pulled off. Look, this this Friday night at 10 p.m. for AEW. Um, you know, they, they've run, they ran what it was like three or four shows there and they were doing, um, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.21 in that range. They promoted the hell out of the show a week ago and got it up to 0 0.31 for the premiere. Um, obviously this is, they're not going to be doing a 0 0.53 every week. No, but you know, you shouldn't be foolish enough to think that, but if, they do, you know, point three every week. That is a giant increase from what they were doing before. Um, and they had a Kenny Omega and um, Jungle Boy championship match on a Friday night to pick up the audience. And then, and and that match did well. But I think the still the demo was like in the low point two in the point twos. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it was it was a, it's a great number. It's a great debut. And now we'll see where it goes from here. They. Um, they beat SmackDown in a lot of demos, which is unbelievable. Number one, because SmackDown had a more favorable time slot. But more importantly, you know, it's obviously the difference between cable and network. I mean, SmackDown's in so many more homes. I would, you know, in, if, if it was just, if, if, if you just went with homes that have cable, forgetting the homes that don't. Dude, it was okay. cable and network and the AEW show was at 10 p.m. Right, 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 right. Yeah, which is, a, which, which is a much worse time slot. But the thing is, is if you just used cable homes, and it was a fair comparison, cable homes versus cable homes, um, AEW would have won in 18 to 49 by a wide margin. If you did like what, what you know, a real percentage, you know, like they do the percentage, but the, like this, these this number is based on the percentages they do, are based on for eighteen to forty nine. It's based on every person in the United States who has who watch who has who not watches television, but who has a television, and who is who's and and who is between those ages. So it's point five three percent for um of that of that group. Of everyone now that includes um, roughly um, 40 million homes that have a television that don't get TNT 
So they're not figured in. They don't get TNT on cable. They don't get TNT on Sling. Any you know any of these circum any of these places that that their that ratings are measured by. So, um, so you're talking about essentially a third of the people who are measured. So the real rating would be you know plus um, eighty. It would be plus fifty percent. So the real rating, the real rating of this would be a point seven five. So that tells you, you know, but then all the cable ratings would be up similarly. So when you're talking about cable ratings, but with network, um, and not every, not every home also gets Fox, but most of them do. Way more get that, way, way, way more get Fox. So, you know, if you're doing a comparison, yeah, it's probably equivalent to a .75 on network. And keep in mind, he wasn't advertised. Keep in mind, this was Friday, not Wednesday. If it was on Wednesday and advertised, this number would have been through the roof. It would have been, um, I mean, it would have beaten the NFL games um, and and uh, easily, easily beaten all the NFL games. Um, and uh, would have beaten Raw, would have beaten, but, you know, it is what it is. And in the long run, what the first week is, it's, it's nice and it's something that you can brag about and send out a press release and all that. And, you know, the, the key is, is does he sustain? Does he bring the thing up? Does he sell tickets? Um, Milwaukee selling tickets, uh, but they last I checked they were not sold out. Um, the other markets like New York and 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 uh, Chicago and and all this, I mean they moved some tickets, but they didn't move. It wasn't it's it's it wasn't like Cena yet, but but, but we're early. Um, you know I I would say that you know I, you know I mean it it'll take time to figure out exactly where he stands as far as this, but we're going to chart it and, and see how he does as compared to punk. I mean, as compared to John Cena as a, as a ticket seller. Um, so that's all interesting, but it's, you know, as far as for AEW, uh, that number such a home run, um, such a home run. And, um, if it was not for the fact that tonight's raw is the show after SummerSlam, it would, it would surely beat raw this week. Uh, it did not beat Raw last week because of Bill Goldberg, but um, you know, and it's not a hundred percent. It'll it, it it won't beat Raw, but I do expect that Raw would be do a little bit better of a number, but not much. And as far as Wednesday goes, that's anyone's guess. Um, you know, I I don't know. I mean, it's it's going to be high as far as the pay per view goes. I figure it's going to set a record. Um, and there were you know there were there were demos 18 to 34 overall it did beat smackdown um i mean it and, and that's with that the with with the handicap with smackdown on a stronger station better time slot and uh um, dude it beat them in males 18 to 49 persons 18 to 34 females 18 to 34 males 35 to 49 basically and, everything uh, basically almost everything except for uh women 35 to 49 I should let him know that he needs more appeal to women 35 to 49. No, I'm just teasing, but now, you know, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, they should be doing a W should be doing cartwheels over this one. Um, you know, it's, it's like, it's certainly the high end of, of expectations, if not way above expectations. But again, like I don't get, you know, you shouldn't get excited over one rating. It's the, the trend long term. And that's still an unknown. But as far as the first glimpses, what a success this this, this signing was. Um, nobody has done this in wrestling since the first episode of SmackDown on Fox when Dwayne Johnson was on it. And I think that he uh, delivered a lot. And as far as mainstream, and AEW is not main, you know, usually not mainstream. Um, Google searches, um, Punk on his own had 500,000, which is two and a half times, uh, I, a little over two times, not quite two and a half times, but a little over two times more than AEW has ever had in its history. The record was um, one of the pay-per-views. I forgot which one, um, probably the one that set the record, probably the uh, the, explosive, the explosive match. Um, so, and even more impressive is that all of the, um, it was just shy 
of every search category for WWE over the weekend, which includes Becky Lynch, uh, Brock Lesnar, and SummerSlam. So it, it, there are people who are gone. Oh, Becky Lynch's return was bigger. Brock Lesnar's return was bigger. Not even close, you know, as far as mainstream goes. I mean, you know, you, as far as long term, you know, whatever. You know, I mean, it 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 depends on a million different things. Um, I think Becky Lynch, you know, probably hurt herself coming back as a heel. Um, although people don't know it yet, but in the long run. Um, Lesnar, you know, um, we'll see, you know, how, I mean, he's going to be on TV Friday night. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see right away how, you know, if uh, if they can get, you know, get to uh, that, a similar, you know, rise on Friday night with Becky Lynch and Brock Lesnar. And they should. They should increase somewhat, you know. A decent amount from them but uh you know as far as doing two and a half times what they would usually do in the time slot um that didn't happen <laughs> that is not happening hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.